Doctor Stone. Stone, oh, my God. Um, I'm, just, <laughs> I'm jumping right to it, bro. The, I, panel, the panel I'm talking about? This is, before we get to that panel, this is... I, every chapter I have to bring this up. This is, this is a joke that's going to get pounded into the ground. Oh, is it more NTRing? Of... We saw Taiju try to sneak his way back. Was he, in the, was he even in this chapter? I couldn't notice. Taiju was trying to sneak his way back what into Senki Park. It, uh, it, it was page five on, on uh, right, Daimimi. He doing? He, he's becoming like a Promised Neverland kid where I just have no idea he's there. Taiju's trying to sneak his way back. Look at him. He, look at him. He's like, Gen's like, look. He, he's like, look, you you and Senku, you and Taiju suck at negotiating, right? He's trying to, he was trying to sneak his way back. He was but you know who came in? You know who came in and shut that down? The Fucking Chrome. That's right. The real best friend. <laughs> look at Chrome, my God, the character arc. Oh, like look at. I thought that was beautiful for him to be like. I've I've just been told about all the wonders. I want to see them, and I was like, oh, Chrome. Every time Chrome showed up, I literally said out loud in my apartment alone at fucking 1 a.m. in the morning. I was like. Fucking best boy Chrome. Best boy Chrome. Be Another. Uh, <laughs> it's like it's like Taiju's the type of character that falls down a well. He's climbing it, climbing it, climbing it. He's almost at the top. And Chrome then, is just up there and he kicks him back down. Someone just throws a rock by accident and he falls all the way back down. <laughs> Bro, then, see, do you remember? Like, you can't even de you can't even deny that I I that's something I called. Like from the from moment one of this series, I was like, Taiju's done. Like, he's been he's been dethroned. <laughs> this man, <laughs> rest in peace. To every chapter, I will point out this complete and utter <laughs> just destruction of the previous main character. You go from you, how do you, you. You can tell that the world hates you when you go from main character to support character. Also, I do want to give a quick shout out to Steel Ram on YouTube. Um, just yesterday, it was a. Uh, I got a comment from him on the channel about like, "Woo, a channel that reviews Doctor Stone week to week." How have I not found this before? That shit makes me smile, man. You have no idea how much I needed that. That was during a bad day at work, and I was like, yay, another niche Dr. Stone fan joins the channel. It's great to have you here, man. Um, but yeah, uh, how about fucking... I really gotta... I love the fucking trickery they do with... Um, uh, I, I, I have not remembered the douchey dude's name yet with the, the pirate hat. Real suit, I Real suit. Yeah, okay. So you want to talk about the panel that made me laugh so hard I was worried I, I was going to wake up my neighbors? It was the one where, um, you know, they do that trickery where he's like, they, they think that he's going to like forcibly make him pick the Joker card. And he's like, oh, you're going to make me go on. You know, I'll be charging you. But then he makes him pick the wrong card and then he picks the right card. And he's like, <laughs> and then he's like, I I'd really like to be on that, actually. And he's like, and then the fucking face where he's like, really? <laughs> oh, little old me. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I can kill This is character. Promise never needs to take notes. This is characters right here. It is. It is look at how they all feel different, man. Like, and plus, do you notice how like this author is taking the time to develop little rivalries, little little personality quirks? Each one of them feels it feels like you just walked into a fucking high school lunchroom and, and like you can look around and see those two are friends, those two are enemies, those two are dating, those two are fucking the bullies, those two are the jocks. Like it's like people have different goddamn personalities, and the beauty of this author is he knows how to do that beautifully. Like mm. the, like the fucking cop dude and mm. magma still in this chapter with their fucking rivalry. <laughs> Bruh, this is amazing. <laughs> and it's so funny because I forgot to I forgot to write the other two chapters. I forgot to write one piece in my academia. But you know what? Dr. Stone's so special. I'm gonna rate it even before we finish. We don't rate, we don't rate here. Rating is stupid and pointless, and I will stop you. I'll cut it out. Ten out of ten. Would read again. Yeah, luckily what he doesn't know is I can cut it out if I want to. Will I be merciful? <laughs> e yay! Um Bruh. no, but uh my god, like Tell me you fucking Bro, laughed at that panel on page I, nine where he's like, uh. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite, my favorite part of this chapter is fucking sing face. Oh my he's god. He's evil, I love man. You've introduced money and he's a goddamn devil now. <laughs> Bruh, this is, this is, this, 
this is man again for president. This is this is who we need for president, man. Really, Fuck. someone obsessed with money like him, huh? You mean like every president ever? Fuck. Except for my boy the FDR. And Democrats. FDR. We need fucking all of these manga characters to be. You know what? After this, after this fucking, after this video, we're gonna. I'm I'm suggesting we do a discussion video on about who we would like to make as president as our government. In real life. I'm okay with that. <laughs> Let's do that. I'm doing it now. <laughs> Top five characters. No, bro. All right, keep that you know in mind. You know what's even better? You know what's even better? Fuck it. Who, uh, mangaka, we would want to be in the government. <laughs> Oda as president. I'm that, I don't know how to get views on that video. <laughs> like, that's still such a niche, obscure thing. <laughs> it's going to happen. It's oh too, it's too enjoyable not to happen. Oh, wow. Well, how about Chrome conti continuing to be best boy here? And I love the little, like, we're going to slip him and give him the card. And, like, aww. Oh, you get Bro, age 10, I don't know if it's pitching for you. That art of oh, uh, God. Oh, dude, the, again. You know, look at that, the, you know what that is? That's lighting. That's, like, proper lighting in that art. And, oh, and, oh so dude. good. It's time to screenshot. Damn it. Dude, you don't Fuck need you a screenshot. Sin. Relax. <laughs> Um, let's see here. Uh, other thing. Oh my god. Yeah, oh, oh, another thing, by the way. You know that part where uh, Senku's, like, fucking doing, like, the, all the mathematical equations? You know that gif from that one guy from The Hangover? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's, it's all the numbers. Like, like Senku's straight up doing that, like, <laughs> analyzing. Um, <laughs> also, let's not forget, did you kind of, like, like, I almost jumped a bit. Page one, it looks like Chrome's about to drop a hot new diss track. Bro, I know. Oh my God. <laughs> like, you know that? Okay, you've seen fucking Zombieland Saga, right? Yep. You know I'm where they start rapping? Like, da -da -ba -da -ba -de -ba -de. Like, like, this is just him. Like, and I want this in a rap battle right now. Like, Chrome, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> I love him. Oh, my God. He's so pure. Bro, this this is this, this is a mark of a new... Uh, I was thinking this when I was reading it. Like, oh, my God. The new, th the new three, bro. It's 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 like everyone's having a battle for Senku's best boy right now, right? It's like Gen, Gen, and a uh, fucking crew. Well, it's just come Gen, Chrome, and Senku, wow. best three characters. Doing, right? doing, <laughs> doing, doing, both of them came in and did the thousand year of death from Naruto on Taiju, like. <sighs> Violated his anus is what you're saying. Just, 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 just like every, just like every time Taiju tries to come in and talk to Senku, nah, Chrome again nah, is like, there. There has like, never been a more clear example of an author realizing he fucked up immediately. <laughs> like this man was like, "Oh God, what have I created?" Out, and then he booted him immediately. And then, and then, and then Ryusu, the Ryusu's coming in trying to trying to take Senku too, and Yo. then Chrome's like, fuck out Do you think we're ever going to get romance in Dr. Stone? Like, is there going to be a moment where, like, I just don't see Senku being into romance. I think it would take humongous character development. It would have right? to be a woman really into science. Like, they, the, the, his, his idea of, like, a good date would be, like, doing some science together. Bro. I want that. I need it. <laughs> Did, didn't you ship the? Did, didn't you ship Kohaku and Chrome at one point? I, I think it was Kohaku and oh, was it? You know, I know you're right. I did because he wanted. Yeah, yeah. Because Chrome wanted to go with Kohaku's sister, right? Yeah, he and likes I was like, and, and, and that felt like one of those plots where it's like he wants her sister, but really, like they, he has a lot more in common with, um, Kohaku. You know what I'm saying? Didn't that kind of feel like that was where mm -hmm. that was going? Yeah, I can see it. It gave me the vibe. I hate to quote Taylor Swift in any regard ever, but you know that song where she's like, she wears high heels, I wear sneakers, you know. The, the, the yeah. idea of like, this is the girl that's like wearing t-shirts and tennis shoes and she's a t kind of a tomboy. And then there's the pretty girl who like cares about makeup and high heels. Like, Kohaku's older sister gives me the vibe of like the very pretty girl. She's, you know, she's always inside. Obviously, some of that's to do with her sickness, of course. But like, she's not, you know, she's very like sheltered and protected and girly right whereas chrome well, we just, look at what chrome does man look at chrome look at this man runs everywhere he's fucking exploring he's mining he's like he's active he's a fucking active dude i think that he would get along way better with kohaku than kohaku's sister and i think that that's something that he's gonna have to realize eventually like oh 
It wasn't uh, the person I wanted was right in front of me the whole time. Well, if you if you remember, it was actually confirmed that Kohaku's older sister actually is athletic. Oh, yeah, okay, but like I still just think that it's like it's, that'd be like if like I'm trying to think of a good example. Uh, that'd be like if Naruto it was like okay, do I go for Hinata or Sakura? Just kidding, ten ten. You know, like this this girl that's had zero <laughs> screen time ever. <laughs> I mean, Ten Ten, Ten Ten would have gotten edgy if we know he wasn't killed off Yo, horribly. It was Ten, dude. Ten Ten got fucked. Like that's the ultimate form of cock block, isn't it? Like I killed him. <laughs> I killed your cock, and he's gone now. And at least he got with Rock. Probably. Oh yeah, dude. Did we know? I forgot. Did Ten Ten? All right, no, I need to look up the Naruto relationship. <laughs> well, because it, it was a rumor because. Because because of uh, Rock Lee's son is martial does Taiju to any of the weapon masters. Well, we, so we never saw like I usually that shit's like high key confirmed. Like like the, the Naruto <clears throat> author was like stupidly into ships. Like like that the entire final chapter of Naruto was ships. The chapter like all right who fucked here we go. Like that was what that chapter was. I don't follow Boruto from from what I hear from the small middle school of people who actually discuss Boruto. Lord. They said metal. Not- yeah, Rock Lee's fucking son is named Metal. That's the most metal name I've ever heard in my life because it's literally metal. Metal Lee. He's like a fucking. He's like metal a metal Lee. So is it confirmed? I'm checking. <laughs> it doesn't fucking. Oh god. Uh, parents. Uh huh. Oh my god. I don't see it. God damn it. I need to know. Kishimoto's just blue balling people with that. Oh my god. Who did Rock Lee fuck? God damn it. it has to be Ten Ten. I guess. I mean, did Ten Ten have like, a bit of an Asian look? Uh, she. I, yeah, from what I remember, she did. Okay. I'm trying to figure out because he's kind of got like, um,. A look to him. I'm trying to figure out. <laughs> I don't know. How do I? Is that racist? <laughs> it's not racist, is it? It's, Please, it's, he just looks Asian. People can look Asian. That's not racist. It's it's. <laughs> I think like a. I have a love interest back in Naruto. To my knowledge, German, you, make you, fun of how white I look to counterbalance. These SJWs need to chill out. Make fun of how white I look, Thurman. Red is so white. He's the whitest person I know. One of the whitest people. And it's bad because white being people. white is bad. And I'm going to go whip myself a little bit. No, nah, right. white people are cool. It's just, uh, you know. There, this is I'm me ignorant. slapping myself because I'm white. There, have I counterbalanced my sin of pointing out that a character looks Asian? <laughs> my I God, mean, his name is Metal. Okay, back to Doctor. I mean, Sen- but thank, thank, like, look, 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 like, look. Thank you. Doesn't look Asian, right? He looks more like European. He doesn't even look American. He looks European. Racist. <laughs> but he's Asian. But thank you, Asian. If I, I recall right. correctly. I, I don't know. Uh, yeah, yeah, I guess. Well, that's the thing. Uh, that's actually something I noticed. Like, anime characters aren't really drawn to look super Asian typically. Have you noticed that? Yeah. <laughs> that's strange. But also interesting. Um, Let me just like, find out that Senku, Senku's a Senku's a uh, Senku's a fucking exchange alien. student from like Europe, like an exchange student from Europe. Mm. <laughs> oh my god, I could see that actually. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he was adopted, wasn't he? Like that, his dad wasn't even his real dad, right? Uh, was that confirmed? I don't know. I thought that was confirmed. Like, you remember, like, like it wasn't like his real dad. Like he was, I was almost positive that that was a thing. Because I remember thinking that's weird because his dad actually looks like he could be his real dad, but I was pretty sure it was specifically stated that he was adopted. Like, that was during the whole uh, space arc thing because his dad was an astronaut and shit. I would have to go back and look. I don't know that at all. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I, my brain's telling me that. If I'm wrong, please tell me. But that that's – I'm sure either Fuya or one of our beautiful other new subscribers will tell us. Um, let's see here. How about uh, – I don't know. I'm mad at myself for continuing to forget this, but like the girl with the melon on her head, I always forget the name of, even though I love her. Suka. Yeah, Suka. So, so I love seeing her um, sliding down the parachute there. That's very adorable. Um, I'm very also... kid like thing to do. What's again? Very kid like thing to do. Oh, definitely. And yeah, no, I just like I mentioned earlier, this fucking rivalry between um, 
yo, is it yo Mag- his name these names bro yo and magma <laughs> the cops yeah. in magma like i i'm loving yeah. the development of this rivalry because it's like it's something that just kind of happens in the background it's not super obvious but it's fucking beautiful he's like <laughs> fucking I'm, I'm fucking really, modern I'm, day people useless fucks <laughs> i'm really happy about that because it, it makes it makes because one thing i'm really happy about dr stone this dr stone author is that he he just like just like tabata hirokoshi and oda does he's very large cast of people and this is and this is throwing shade at at a, at a promise, promise Neverland, Neverland. yes it's getting old Everything. though we really should stop throwing shade at, it can't be our punching bag all the time it must be our punching bag so it's <laughs> I was gonna say I promise Neverland other manga like it. Some some manga don't know how to they, some manga have a big cast of characters and don't know how to utilize them. You're right. Well. I mean, and that was actually what I was mentioning earlier. Like, this is one of those manga that make you realize how much skill goes into that. Because, like, what blew my mind in this manga was realizing all of the different subtleties with every character. You know what I mean? Like, there's so many. It's like he must have like that, like a notebook of all of like the character traits and all of like their their goals and their dreams and their aspirations and their you know their rivalries and who they like and who they don't like. And like, there's so much that goes on. Like, it just feels like a, v- a real vibrant group of people and i love it yes it's he he does it he does it so well just like tabata does just like hero Kochi does just like oda does each, each one of these authors know how have a big cast of their manga mm-hmm. and have different ways of making sure that no character or if they're unique right like entire video entirely that i actually love to discuss about but <clears throat> the, the reason why i give dr stuff this is why I'll mention that here is I'm really happy that the characters that were taken from Sukasa's thing aren't getting good character development. You know, the Yo has his rival sense, right? They're not wasted characters. Yeah, they're not just there yeah. to be there. Yeah. Yeah, and I'm really I, one of my biggest pet peeves about certain series is characters being just to make another character look good or. Just just being there for a specific purpose and not having you know their own little thing, right? <clears throat> Darling and the Franks had this biggest issue to where certain characters to make another group of right, and they had nothing going for themselves as characters themselves. And I, I hate that. I hate, I hate creators. I hate people who you hate people who what you cut off. I see. I, I don't like when creators make a character specifically to make. I know the character looked good. Right. So it's like, and that's, that's a class that's writing one one, right? You have to subvert the, the, the feeling that this character is created just to move the plot along. Right. So it's like a bad writer will create characters simply to move the plot along. Whereas a good writer, the characters will feel like they're there for a reason. Like they're real people and they're just there to be there. And we're watching what they're doing. You know, it's never good yeah, if a character feels like they're just there to be there or they're just there because the author needs them to be there. Mm-hmm. Darling the Franks was this perfectly. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's see here. Um, other than that, I mean, they test the hot air balloon. That's really cool. Um, it's kind of like a beautiful moment where he gets to see, you know, like, you know, hey, the earth is round. <laughs> you know, you, you know, because remember, you made that flat earth joke earlier, so that was cool. Huh. Uh, I'm really, I guess we're going to predictions now. I really, really, I'm really wanting to see what caused the the explosion i really hope they start you know the boat and stuff like that but i really hope they start getting more and more into like the the plot of that because man that is gonna be i mean they said there was gonna take a while to make the boat but yeah i'll just say really quickly about the final scene here i just think it's it's just as beautiful as i was expecting it to be like something about i've always been a fan of like moments in stories where like a character that doesn't have a lot of knowledge or a character that hasn't had a lot of experiences gets to have an experience right so Tell me, I'm gonna, I'm gonna name a scene that this scene reminds me of, and you tell me how right I am, okay? This mm-hmm. scene, high key, reminds me of the scene maybe like half a year ago in One Piece where Shirahoshi was rising up to the red line and she was able to see the sunrise. Oh yeah, definitely. Oh my god. Yep. And that scene that was fucking beautiful really because it was someone who had never been above the, the surface before. So you can you can make a metaphorical connection there where Shirahoshi had never been above the surface before and never seen like, the actual sunrise, not filtered through the water, whereas uh, Chrome here has never left this island, period. 
Japan's just a small little island. That's like a tiny little baby portion of the entire world. Um, so yeah, I, I love it. I love scenes like this always. Oh yeah, man, definitely. So what That's... were you saying about uh, where you want the boat plot to go? Uh, I'm just I'm just really... the boat plot. Uh, you know, we we get some exploration going. You know, I want to see. I want to see like if there are any more human beings that were maybe unthawed by themselves. You know, out there because we have to consider that. I mean, there's the entirety the planet... of the population out there technically, if you think about it. <clears throat> yeah, maybe there's not like another civilization. Oh, I, I just... want them to get over to America and start reviving some Americans. <laughs> Yeah, no, fuck Americans. We're awful. I mean, yeah, but, like, it'd be hilarious. <laughs> like, like do you think that they're going to have, like, horrible fucking American stereotype? Like, a, what? remember how literally Donald Trump is canon in this universe? Bro. Like, the first chapter, he's like, oh, no, I'm dying. I am i can't. My All my power and riches. <laughs> Bro, oh, my God. You, you know, revive Donald to... Trump. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Don't. I need some black people. <laughs> if you're going to revive him, only do it to make fun of him. <laughs> you hear me, though, Ren? I just say it again. I need some black people in the series right yeah. now. Is there, oh, my God. I haven't thought about that. Is there no black people? We need, we need some Africans. Huh? Oh, oh, no. <laughs> just the way you said that. We need some. It's so bad that I'm like, is that racist? <laughs> Not at all. It's not. It's not at all. Because I'm so used to saying, like, don't say. you. Ha I'm so used to putting Americans after Africans for some reason. <laughs> you just want actual Africans. You don't want African Americans, just to clarify. <laughs> you want, like, some fucking, like, you want, like, legit. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Any joke I make from here is definitely racist. I, I just, I don't know what to do. <laughs> You've caught me in a corner, Thurman. I'm the white guy here. I can't say anything. Between the rock. I mean, I, I don't. Between I the rock to, and Tumblr. I allow you to say it, but no. <laughs> we, don't, we don't need the SBWs, you know. From now on, on, I'll just message you any edgy joke I want to make and make have you make it. <laughs> Beautiful. It's 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 a it's a great thing. But <laughs> other than that, I have no more to say. A great chapter all around oh just as always dr stone is just so fun to come come into man i it, it's just it, it feels like you're just visiting a group of friends every week you know like a group of fucking phenomenal interesting friends and i'm looking forward to where it goes all the time you are man. definitely right about what <laughs> you are definitely this manga is very great to come to oh yeah totally and i'm looking forward to Seeing where it goes from here, especially with the boat plot, world exploration and stuff. So it should be great. Did you get the joke? Did you get the joke, though? I didn't. Try again. Hello? I didn't get the joke. Try again. This manga is great to come to. That's a horrible joke. I mean, yes, there, I, I suppose the artist is phenomenal at drawing boobs. Like, really good. <laughs> Like, my God. Like, I don't know what it is that they do, but, like, whoo! I wasn't even talking about the booze. I was talking about everything. Everything's nutworthy. <laughs> That's true. I, I you know, I, I want a nut to Senku's character, I guess. Just his character arc. I'm like, ugh! <laughs> I love it. And with that... I want to cosplay as Senku, Thurman, but his hair is hard. You have... You have so many cosplay Shut options. Shut up! Have... Let me... <laughs> every fucking... Every fucking I'm video, more... I want to cosplay this person. <laughs> Here, let me see. You have Monoma, you have Senku, you have Luck. Who else you have? Uh, I don't know. Well, yeah, I, you know, I did say that, didn't I? In our fucking rabbit session to catch up with Black Clover. Right. <laughs> see, I, I'm pretty sure every time every time we read Black Clover, you're definitely like, drunk because you always say good things about it. You always say like you, you're starting to like it. But then, but then, but then once the rabbit's done, so if you're like, I say a couple good things. You can't ignore the like 50 bad things I say when I say like five good things. No, bro, you you've been saying more good things than bad bro, things. Bro, we had dude. like a fucking hour long debate about like how I hate the magic system. That's just you. That's your that's just your preferences, and I and I and I need you to to watch the video so you can explain <laughs> it better. I need you to watch this video making my argument for me. Yeah, I'm, honestly, I'm suck, I'm bad at making arguments. You stupid. Um, wow, beautiful. Wow, wow. Uh, end with that. Peace. Peace.